Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Capricorns. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for finance and career issues this month of December 2021. So let's see what we have here, my beautiful Capricorns. Starting off with your all over energy card, you have been given the card voyage. And you know, it says you're all you already have the answers within you. So if you're having problems trying to figure something out, trying to process something, trying to analyze something and trying to find the meaning in something, uh, you, maybe you've been feeling lost for a while now wandering through your life and aimlessly searching everywhere for meaning and never coming up with anything of substance and that's a problem you keep searching for answers outside yourself when all the answers can be found within yourself if you take the time to look you need a spiritual mentor okay at this point in your life maybe that person needs to be to be you Okay, so know that you have the ability now to tap into your own energy field, to tap into your own vibration and your own higher self. So if you've been trying to seek answers here, uh, know that you have all the answers within you. And you know, this is making me want to jump right over into your outcome uh, or oracle message. And that is surrender comparisons with other people. Okay, don't do it. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strength, attract attractiveness and power. So if you've been doing that, if you've been comparing yourself with other people that are out there, you know, maybe you're thinking they have a better job, a better position, more money, a bigger car, a bigger house, whatever. They probably have bigger debt levels too, but uh, don't ever compare yourself to other people. You have all the gifts, all, the, all that you need within you, my beautiful Capricorns, to forge ahead and do what it is you want to do and make your desires turn into reality so this month of December don't compare yourself to other people why did somebody get a bigger bonus why did they get the uh, you know why did they get the more time off why did they get the promotion you need to realize that when you do this when we compare ourselves to other people we become increasingly distracted and basically we sabotage ourselves we sabotage ourselves from living in the moment and realizing our self-worth. It's time to do some mirror work. Look in the mirror every day and say, you know what? I got, I have what it takes. I've got all the resources within me to dig deep and do what I want. And also to make the changes that you want to make this month that will benefit you better in your career and your finances. Okay. Pretty good, uh, pretty good theme here moving through this month. Now, starting off, you do have the Strength card. And the Strength card is your first card. And it shows up in the position of your current finances here. You could be having to deal with issues where you've got to maintain stability. Uh, you know, try not to wa waver off of your path here. Try not to get caught up in distractions where there could be some uh, opposing energy coming in that wants to stir the cauldron and perhaps cause some distractions and some debates and maybe some arguments with those at work. I want you to step back and just be a little bit more uh, more compassionate, more understanding, and maybe a little bit more um, forgiving. Uh, there could be issues at your place of employment where you may be dealing with people at work that are giving, you know, that are maybe directing, misdirected uh, feelings or anger or animosity or, you know, whatever towards you, challenges towards you. I want you to take a breath and step back. This is not the time to get involved in other people's drama or take things personally. I think that you need to, if you're approaching any negotiating issues or debates with anybody at work this month, do it in a kinder. Take on the, the gentleness of the lamb, not the roar of the lamb, lion. Because what happens is when we go in there and we feel as though we need to be defensive, we go in with the roar of the lion and we react in the heat of the moment. And often we may say things that might be taken out of context or not. And again, we sabotage ourselves. We lose that. We lose that moment. We lose that that discussion. We lose that that opportunity to present ourselves in a better way. Now, when you're negotiating and dealing with people this month that has to do with your career and your job, think about the, the you know, the, you know, I tell you this all the time, the saying about we catch more bees with honey than we ever will with vinegar. So this is going to require some inner strength on your part uh, with the current situation with your job and your career. 
Think about that when you get pushed into the up against the wall where you feel defensive and you want to come out uh, with your guns blaring. Don't do that because you're only going to sabotage yourself. Now, your second position is where the new resources of income can come from. Well, I think you're going to get a surprise this month. Some of you, you could end up with some un, uh, unexpected money or resources or benefits at your place of employment that are really, really going to surprise you. The universe is shining down on you and the wheel of fortune says this is the card of good luck, good karma, uh, energy, better shift of energy and good luck coming towards you. For others, you may be asked this month to step up and maybe have to go uh, somewhere uh, for work. Maybe you're going to have to take a business trip. Maybe you're going to have to travel a little farther distance. Maybe your route, if your job involves travel and your route is going to be changed and it might be a little bit farther. You might have to go the distance now. But also I think, you know, you could be planning a trip in any wheeled vehicle this month uh, for the near future. Could be uh, for work or also for pleasure after this year end comes to an end. But always when the Wheel of Fortune shows up, this is where your resources are going to be coming. Okay, this is something's going to land uh, at your feet this month. It's going to definitely be in the form of benefits at your job. Maybe you're getting a new job. Maybe you're getting a promotion at your job. Maybe you're going to get an extra bonus here or uh, something unexpected like that. It's beautiful and it's almost like a windfall sometimes when it shows up. Now, in your third position here, opportunities to consider. What have you got? Again, there might be something here where you might be negotiating with somebody. Push-pull energy. Um, I do think that you may be receiving a gift of fair offer coming in if you put in a proposal or, uh, you know, you've applied for something. Um, maybe you've uh, there was a posting at your place of employment and you've applied for it and uh, you could receive that. For others, if you're having money issues, you may be applying for a loan um, and you could be paying off a long standing debt uh, as well. The, you're going to see that coming into play here and it'll work in your favor. Um, I do think this is a chair. You may be getting involved this month in some sort of non-profit work, some sort of charitable organization as well. So there are opportunities to consider here. Um, maybe, you know, I always say what you put out into the universe, you're going to receive back. So if you're doing something mindful, something that's charitable, something where you're not wanting wanting expectations back, believe me, the universe sees this and the universe is going to send you this good karma for whatever it is that you're doing out there on a charitable way. Uh, I do think that you're going to be receiving a gift of some sort here. A beautiful month shaping up. Now, your fourth position is how these opportunities are going to benefit you. Well, I do believe, you know, that you've got a lot of good shifting energy here happening. You know, you're tapping into your own higher self. You're able to know that you've got gifts here to offer at your place of employment and you're going to dig in and do that. You know, the Three of Wands says congratulations for the hard work up to this point that you've done. And, you know, this is what's going to benefit you, okay? These opportunities, how they're going to benefit you is the fact that you put your head down and you are working hard this month. Okay, and you could get some unexpected resources and good luck here uh, in the form of opportunities and doors opening for you to progress this month with your job and your career. But, you know, you're, it's almost like, you know, you're looking for your ship to come in. Keep working towards your goal. Okay, Keep, don't don't stand there too long. This is a card of patience waiting for something to come in at your place of work. Okay, waiting. You've done everything right. You need to congratulate yourself. There's going to be some success here, definitely. Now, your outcome card is the Ace of Cups. Aces are beginnings of all things. And we know that cups represent emotion. Okay, and often it represents uh, it can represent um, relationships, uh, new relationships. You may be getting the help. Someone may be coming in here to support you on an emotional level at your place of work. Uh, this is a water sign here, um, you know, uh, and could be, you know, you're going with the flow here. You're definitely uh, going with the flow and you're able to go forward here. Maybe you're collaborating with someone else. This could be your partner. This could be somebody new coming into your place of employment who's going to be able to uh, very get get along very well with you at your place of employment. There could be some um, uh, reorganizations, restructuring going on with some of you at your place of work, and there could be somebody new coming in. Uh, they may be sensitive. They may be uh, very, uh, you know, they could be... Uh, 
very very emotional but also it's that good connection the puzzle piece is fitting so i do believe that there could be somebody coming in on an emotional level here that you're going to be very very fond of at your place of employment because they tend to be uh, a beautiful uh, it, this is a beautiful um you know uh a beautiful how can i put this partnership okay partnership you're going to feel like the two of you are going to get along great so there could be changes at the end of the year at your place of work maybe there's somebody new coming in maybe somebody you that is uh you know in authority that you work for or with is going to be retiring i mean maybe this is what it is for some of you not for all of you uh but maybe for some of you but all in all my beautiful capricorns this looks like a good month um i do believe you're going to see some unexpected happiness come in and progress and opportunities coming in here sorry and um I'm making my gluten-free bread Capricorns and my timer went off but I thought I had it on silent so I apologize for that it's in the rising stage anyhow um, I'm good here so you know I think all in all your readings quite good uh, you just realize that you don't want to make comparisons because it's going to distract you and sabotage you from digging deep and realizing all the resources you have all that you have within you to apply to this month so all in all I think you're going to find some unexpected benefits maybe be unexpected money coming in this month it's great uh, and I like it well I wish you a great remainder to today in this beautiful month of December and continue let's all continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and I'll see you soon